Daisy Bates was born in Arkansas, November 11, 1914. She got married to a man named Elsie Bates whenever she was a teenager. Daisy Bates was the group leader of the NAACP. Daisy Bates went to school, but after a while, she was not allowed back in. She doesn't know what happened to her father, and her mother died because of her race. She and other Afri African Americans were not allowed to go into school just because they were black. They also burned an eight-foot tall cross in her front yard that said, Go Back to Africa, signed KKK. They hung dolls that looked like them and burned them on fire. She got many phone calls and letters saying that she would never be able to change them and that things should just be the way they are supposed to. So her impact did not do much on people. Her outcome did, was not the best. She thought maybe sometimes she should give up. And after that, she knew that integration was worth fighting for in her along with segregation. No one knows how Daisy Bates died, but all we know is that she died in 1999 when she was 85 years old.